hello all uh, in this video i'll discuss with you a taylor series of a function the function i have taken here is 1 upon x about a point x is equals to 1 or we can say we are going to learn how to expand 1 upon x in powers of x minus 1 so we are going to use a taylor series and also i'll discuss the alternative technique for that but first let's recall what is the taylor series taylor series of any function fx about a point a is fx is equals to f of a plus x minus a upon 1 factorial f dash of a plus x minus a whole square f double dash of a upon 2 factorial plus x minus a cube 3 factorial f triple dash a and so on so we can see that there is a formula a pattern of writing a series wherein the one derivative one power double derivative double power triple derivative triple power now let's come to the main question so here the function is 1 upon x and the point is here here a is equals to 1 in this question a is equals to 1 and uh, fx is equals to 1 by x so let's see that with the help of definition if we are going to solve what will happen we, we we see that in the definition we have a derivatives of the function at the given point so here point is a1 so let's see what are the derivative the derivative of the fx uh, is first derivative of 1 by x is x to the power minus 1 means minus 1 x to the power minus 2 it is minus 1 by x square now minus 1 by x square means minus x to the power minus 2 so what is the differentiation minus is already there minus 2 into it will be minus 2 into x to the power minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 so i can write on minus i am not multiplying it because we are going to see the pattern here minus 1 minus 2 upon x cube and when we do one more differentiation x minus 3 become x minus 4 with 3 times minus 3 times so we got this pattern so now uh, the point over here is 1 so when you will put x is equals to 1 we get 1 here when you put x is equals to 1 i get minus 1 upon 1 so it is minus 1 here so x is equals to 1 in everywhere we are putting so i get plus plus minus minus become positive so we get a 2 into 1 means i can write it as the 2 factorial uh, as I want a factorial reason being all the term later on are having a factorial uh, model so the third derivative here is 1 minus 1 minus minus 3 minus become negative and 3 into 2 into 1 can be written as a 3 factorial and so on so now I have calculated the first four terms of the series and let's see plug in that uh, function so we as per the taylor series we have a fx the point here is 1 so f1 f dash 1 uh, f double dash 1 with x minus 1 whole square f triple dash 1 with x minus 1 whole cube by 3 factorial and so on so here the value all value are 1 the other one is minus 1 then it was a 2 factorial we have already calculated here and when we we'll plug in and we'll see that the series will turn up like that because this 2 factorial 2 factorial will get cancelled this 3 factorial 3 factorial will get cancelled minus sign will be there so we can see that this is a expansion of our given question now i will discuss there is an alternative technique here what i, I want that uh, we can use a definition but if we have an alternative technique we should also have an awareness about it so here uh, before i go to the alternative technique i want you to remember some formula they are the binomial series these two formulas are very important in such questions one is 1 plus x to the power minus 1 is a 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube plus x4 minus x5 there is no factorial here so when it is a plus in this term when it is plus we get an alternate sign and when there is a minus this minus minus become plus all the odd term here become positive so when there is a minus all are positive when there is a plus alternate sign now let's see how we can apply this formula 
the previous formula in our, my current question. So for that, first is, uh, let's see what is the function here. The function is 1 upon 1 plus x and see what is the point here. So point is 1. So when uh, you see the point, it means I need a powers of x minus 1. So this is a power format. I want the powers of x minus 1 everywhere. Square, cube, all you have seen in the previous question, it is x minus 1. So what are the steps? You have to write your current function and then we have to do the requirement. My requirement is x minus 1. So I have subtracted 1 and added 1. So this become my this become my main term 1 x minus 1 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this uh, binomial formula so I'll rewrite it into the formula so I place this one into the front plus this quantity 1 plus the x formula so uh, 1 plus x to the power minus 1 is required so once you get 1 plus x you can raise it to the numerator that become 1 plus this x to the power minus 1 this formula 1 plus x to the power minus 1 is 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube and so on so I got my x here what is my x here in the formula x minus 1 so this is just a formula where whatever is here you will get the powers in that so now I have x minus 1 with 1 plus so my alternate sign formula will come 1 minus this term plus square of the same term minus cube of the same term and so on so this way we can expand so with the help of this binomial series formula we are in a position to or it is also it can be derived from Maclaurin series of about x is equals to zero but with this help we can do a lot of questions without solving the derivative at every point um, it's two, three four derivative and then putting into the formula so if this formula is okay, you can continue. Otherwise, the definition is there, which one can apply. So only point is that how you can save your time. So here we can save time by just rewriting the term. So I'm going to discuss one more example here. And uh, there I'll start with the shortcut first. So the question is, Taylor series of 1 upon x plus 3 about x to the power x is equals to minus 1. Now x is equals to now I have taken a negative number. So when it is x is equals to minus 1 actually I want a power of x plus 1. So it's a plus sign because number is center is negative. So let's do the same thing. I want I have to rewrite my current function into such a way that I should get plus 1. So since it, there was in my question there was a 3, I can split 3 into 1 plus 2 so that my requirement will fulfill this, this requirement will fulfill and uh, I got this x plus 1. Now the next task is to rewrite into the format. So what I do, I x plus 1 I have written here, here is a number 2 separate. Now I want to make this 2 equals to 1 before I apply that binomial formula. So this 2, I want to convert it into 1. So what we can do? We can take 2 common. So when you take 2 common, this 2 become 1. And this side, I have to take a LCM. So there is a 1 by 2. So you can see when I multiply, I'll get back the same step. So the requirement is to apply the formula of n plus x. So what happened here? 1 by 2 comes as a constant. And this 1 plus the formula 1 plus x formula so 1 plus this is my new x 1 plus x to the power minus 1 so what is the formula 1 by 2 1 it is my new x so 1 minus x then x square then x cube and so on so you can see that very um, nicely we will get the expansion of the series only by using those two formula of binomial otherwise if you are not comfortable with this formula then the definition is still there that you have to figure out few derivatives like here I have taken fx f dash f dash is uh, x to the power minus 1 means minus 1 x to the power minus 2 that is minus 1 upon x plus 3 square then we have a double derivative minus 1 already there so it is minus 2 times minus 3 so it can be written in the denominator 
and I have uh, calculated three derivatives because they are four terms and four terms are enough to see the series and uh, the point is minus one so what we did here putting x is equals to minus one will be one by two f dash minus one will give me minus one by two square f double dash minus one will give me two factorial upon two cube and triple dash will give me minus three factorial upon two to the power four so we have placed x equals to here x is equals to this way x is equals to minus one and uh, when we plug in into the formula of uh, Taylor series uh, Taylor series about a point about x is equals to minus one is what is that f minus one x plus because minus minus become plus so x plus one one derivative at minus one square by two factorial double derivative at minus one cube upon q factorial and triple derivative at here I have written x it is minus one so this is equals to minus one here so we, we, we get a minus one and so on so when you plug in these values which already calculated separately we get a half then minus uh, half square then two factorial so when I substitute it and we see that here 1 by 2 is common so we can take 1 by 2 common and this will be 1 and here negative and 1 by 2 still there here 2 factorial 2 factorial will get cancelled and uh, 1 2 comes out so it will be x plus 1 square upon 2 square and the third term is this 3 factorial 3 factorial will get cancel and minus sign and here the answer so you can see that answer is achieved here with the help of binomial expansion my answer only the important step is this one this part if so if you say that what is the important step you should remember the formula second you should know how to rewrite this term so if you know what is the target you can write it and apply the formula rewriting applying the formula and here I have used the definition and by calculating all the terms and plugging into the few entry I got the series both are same I hope you have understood that how we can use the same question we can solve the same question by definition as well as by alternative method is by using these formulas which are binomial formula so 1 plus x minus 1 this alternate sign and 1 minus x to the power minus 1 is the same sign i hope you have understood thank you